So, this, it's the Smitty Belt roof rack. Finally came in, it only took like, I don't know, I expect it to take longer. It only took three or four days, prime shipping. I got it for just over $300 because of tax and everything, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can pop this on. And then the plan is either sometime early this week or next week, head over to Jeff's, see about building a basket for it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> When I was doing research on this kit, I saw a lot of people complaining about, oh, it's, it's so hard, it's such a pain in the butt to install, you know, even if it's fit for your Jeep, it's so hard. And I didn't understand what they meant. And I could be wrong, because I haven't got that far yet. I, initially, I thought that they were talking about lining everything up, like everything was all, you know, hard to squeeze together. And um, according to the instructions, you're supposed to leave all the bolts loose. You're not supposed to tighten anything down. So that could be it. Um, but I think the thing that's really a pain in the butt is this right here. So I've extracted these bolts before. Reason being is there's a bracket connected to the windshield. So to disconnect these, all I have to do is unscrew them and we're good. These on the other hand, there's tiny little bolts that are right here and here on the other side of this, but you have to really wedge your hand all the way up there. You can probably see the red marks on my arm all the way up there and stick a little itty bitty screwdriver like this. And I'm literally like holding it like this so I can squeeze my hand in there and then using my fingers to try to set it on. And then after I get that on, I come over here and I'm having to torque it down and I'm a one man show. So then this eventually, as the bolt starts coming out, this falls down and I have to repeat squeezing my hand all the way up in there. Um, luckily there's not as many wires and stuff on the passenger side, so it should be a lot easier but getting this thing out is really a pain in the butt. It got a little too late yesterday, so uh, we're out here now trying to finish the job because uh, we only got one side done, so we're knocking out the other side, so we're about just over halfway done by now. We ran into a little bit of a problem. Um, I think they tapped this bar wrong. So right here you can see there's supposed to be three of these bars going across on that side everything's okay but on this side so we have it right here so that the holes we can put the screws through the problem is is if i turn this to line up with these holes then they're facing the wrong way so now those holes are facing at more of an angle and then after filming this we realize that the bar actually just needed turned around oops <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, wow, wow.